Hi guys, I'm Foxy. And I'm Squirrel. And we're here today to show you how to get that beautiful holiday glow. For your skin. For your skin. Ah! And actually it involves a couple of steps. Uh, the number one step is to always make sure that your skin itself is prepped prior to putting on your makeup. And we're gonna do a little bit. She's actually, Foxy's already um, clean faced. <laughs> she actually <laughs> filled in her eyebrows just a tad. Um, but other than that, she has nothing on. So this is going to be very easy. It's a clean slate. No, you look gorgeous no matter what. But by the way, um, we don't wake up like this. Our husbands may think we do. Our friends <laughs> may think we do. But we really don't. don't. Um, we wake up like her. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> no. Crazy. Oh, I should mention that we did get a chance to go and have a facial at Monfier. Go to Dagger. She's amazing. Amazing. And she actually did a um, medical peel on me, not a chemical peel, which is very different. And she suggested that we do this twice here. It'll really uh, uber exfoliates your skin. Right, and without drying it. Exactly. You weren't flaky at all. And not at all. Um, and that, we'll actually maybe try to loop that video in when she applied though, because it burns just a tad, just a tad. Tingle. Tingle. I don't know. Starting now with the, uh, the chemical, the medical, the medical. medical. Sorry, medical peel. We're starting with the medical peel. There it goes. It does tingle. It tingles already. Scale of one to ten. Tingle. I like the tingle. Tingle. Um, but in any case, um, I'm going to do exactly what I did on my. Obviously, I'm already glowing. Can you see the glow? <laughs> <laughs> I she does like, wake up glowing. I do, just like this. You have to start with a clean slate. And by doing that, I love this, um, I'm going to totally butcher this name, Amorovitsa. Amorovitsa. Amorovitsa um, cleanser. It's the video. But So you basically wash your face with this. It's very gentle. We love it. Um, and then after that, once you've washed your face, put on this lactic acid treatment. Um, I can't tell you guys, this is amazing. Um, it smells a little funny when you put it on and um, it's got a little tingle actually. Um, anyway, she, we did this step on her, so you know we're not gonna make her wash her face right now, but this is the other one. It's from Natural Visse. It's the Cure Serum. Fantastic. So 20 minutes, tick tock, tick tock later, you take it off and do next. We're going to start with this Lancer and it's the Glowing Skin um, so you, if you can if you can see it's um, the consistency is sort of like foundation it's tinted um, and it's, um, a little bit of glow which exactly it's exactly what it says that it will do it gives it sort of a priming glow and then on top of that we add the primer so. Here it is, my favorite primer by Terry. I can't tell you guys, it has made a huge difference in how my makeup stays on. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on. and we're not suggesting that you should try this one but I've been obsessed with this for maybe five six years now and I'm just curious what do you girls use do you use Giorgio Armani I do <laughs> and I actually use um, Laura Mercier yes yeah, I, I love, love Laura, Laura Mercier, Mercier too, too. Um, it fills in all the little yeah wrinkles little wrinkles and, but, and what about the pores and the little pores the little pores so, little I don't have any <laughs> <laughs> And the color is 5.5. Um, now that obviously suits my skin tone right. better. So I have so a magic. Be a little off. Nope. Off I, color like us. I have a magic trick. Ooh. When I have a tan, because I don't want to have to buy two different types of foundations. Ooh. I found this bronzer. It's a liquid bronzer from NARS, and it's called Laguna. And what I do, if you can see, it comes out. Pretty dark. So now I have two tones in there, so I think that'll suit nice Foxy so much better. There is one extra extra. 
extra step that I'm going to do on Foxy, and that is that I'm going to apply a little bit of, um, I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer by Terry. And it's, it's just, to, just to take a little bit of the under eye darkness. Okay. So, dark kids. Sorry, did I say that? No. My husband. That's what she dark said. Dark. <laughs> Everybody. Darn. Holidays. <laughs> so true, right? All right, again, I'm going to use my blending brush. So it's um, it's called actually it's called veil. Ooh, okay, so power. tap it because it's a lot. It's a lot on there. You could see it. And then just go ahead and go to town. Again, blending it in. I'm just gonna fill in your eyebrows because I kind of wipe yeah. them off with yeah. that. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna do the eyebrows first. And oh, I should tell you what I'm using. I love the Anastasia. Oh, she's the best. Um, this is the Taupe and it's the Brow Definer. I really love it. Now, this might be a little light for you, but who knows? We'll yeah. try it out and see what happens. Um, actually, no, it's not light. It's what I use because my eyebrows are really dark. Your eyebrows are dark. So all I do is just, just fill them in. I don't know if you guys can see. Maybe you want to get a little closer. Mm -hmm. Okay, now on to the highlighting. So we've got the eyebrows in. We've got all the stuff on the face. Now, I love this product from, again, NARS. I've had this forever. Um, and they still sell it. Wait, is it upside down? It's upside down. Um, Yeah, I, I don't, you know, I don't know. I do know that this is really intense, so yeah. it does show up quite a bit. Um, so you have to, you have to, you know, you, you'd have to want this. Yeah. Um, again, cheekbones, um, a little bit on the tip of the nose, and a little bit on the lip line. What I also do, which I think is great, just a little tad here, and then of course I'm going to blend it all in. I'm just going to leave it like that. Yeah, you're all done. Yes. Yes, you're so pretty. <laughs> sure, you're glowing quite a bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and blend it with this again. Um, to blend it in more. Sometimes, you know, using your fingers, I feel it works a little bit better. I love using my fingers because I feel like you can always get it. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love Naked, the brand. I think it's awesome. And this is Urban Decay. It's Naked 3 Urban Decay. Um, here, here are the palettes. Um, and for daytime, I mean, it's just gorgeous. I, you could see how much I've used this. Um, for daytime, I'm going to use this color here, and it's called... Okay, um, I'm using Dust and Burnout. Burnout first. So I'm going to take just a little bit of the Burnout, um, which is this color right here, if you guys can see. And I'm just going to do her entire lash with it. It's a very soft pink, almost like a little blushy pink, but I think it's such a pretty color for the daytime. Um, I really like it. And again, it's, it's important to point out that this is really versatile because this works on your skin tone, oh, my color, and mine. Isn't that amazing? It's fantastic. I'm going to apply this one here, which is the dust, um, and I'm going to do the top right there of the eyebrow, the arch, and then just a little bit right in the, in the corners, in the corners to brighten the eye up. Okay. 
Beautiful. And I, that's it. If you want to just do daytime. Obviously, if you want to go for a night, you would do a lot more. You would actually contour. You line the top. I would lid. Like, yes. Yeah. And I, you know, I'd probably do like a cat eye on you. Yeah. So I'm going to do, um, I'm going to combine this highlighter with this, these two cheek colors on her. And then I'll do a little bronzer all over. First, I'll do the bronzer all over. I'm going to use a big brush. I don't think you need the bronzer, but I feel like I want to use it because I still always put a little bronzer, yeah. even even in the summer. Just so with the bronzer, girls, um, I try, I still try to stick to you know like the cheekbone area, a little bit on the chin, a little bit on the nose, and then the top of the forehead. Um, and that's how do you feel about blush. So how do you feel about? putting on blush and do you feel like you wear too much or too little? You know what I find I don't have the right mirror. We have to get the right mirror in my bathroom mm -hmm. because when I go outside I feel like wow I don't have enough on. Okay. Because aren't you always yeah. telling me yeah. like come on like you, you need, need a little color. color. Yeah. And I think I think getting the right lighting and the right mirror mm -hmm. so maybe we should research that. Okay so next up on Tuesday tips at some point in time we're going to research awesome mirrors and yes. we're going to renovate our bathrooms without our husbands knowing. But lighting, I think lighting is important. So to answer your question, I think I don't put enough on because I always don't want to feel so made up. Oh. But I gotta tell you, you're always telling me to put more, and then it, I feel like I you're not I do, and I look better. Yeah, I know. Well, you, you know, more alive, right? <laughs> no, I, I slept you know. I'm not I know. Go <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh my gosh, you are a glowing gem. You Ooh, look beautiful. Glowing gem. So, um, if you guys... Oh, I love it. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. See how glowy you are? There's one last thing that you have to do. There's I, We applied a, a lot of makeup and a lot of products, and I think it all kind of caked onto her lips. So, um, last but not least, we have to do the lips. So, I'm just going to go ahead and... wipe my mouth. Oh, you mean little, little baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> little baby. Boy, mm -hmm. boy. Oh, okay. Gentle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look how much makeup she had on her lips. Yeah, that's crazy. I know. So just, I don't think we do this step, but you can actually see your lips now. Um, and the last step is Winky Lux, and we love this product. Love. Foxy, you have one of these, I right? I do. I and do. We were treated by our good friend. Oh, that's yeah. right. And Graham. And thank Graham. you. Thank you. And look how cute. It has a little flower inside. And they're beautiful. They're all different. But the, it's just like a mood uh, lipstick. It uh, reacts with your pH on your skin, so it'll turn whatever mood your lips are in. Mm. So let's see what, I don't know, let's find out. Uh, oh and it goes on so smooth. Uh, 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 uh. You wanna apply this? Yes. This is easy. I just can't do that. Is it smooth? Mm. So it's almost like a- It's med very smooth and nourishing, mm -hmm. and along with being aesthetically gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, and it has. To, it does have a little tiny so, scent. It does, yeah. Oh, it's so subtle, subtle. This one's called blue. The last step is the mascara, which I should have done before I put on her lips, but that's okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna use Hourglass uh, Caution, which is not only stunningly gorgeous in this gold, beautiful I'm packaging. With all the packaging. I know they're so hour Hourglass. Yeah. I mean, I'm they're obsessed. they are so amazing. Uh, but this is actually, if you love benefits better than sex mascara. This is your answer to that. I mean, it's amazing. amazing. It's gorgeous. So let's go ahead and put that on. And just look right over here. So happy holidays. We hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you to achieve that beautiful glow for the holidays during all the stress. And your husbands are going to thank you for it. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Woohoo! Ciao, ciao. Mwah.